here seeing some shit we ain't never seen before. What is up, Mother Clarkers? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna do a little Tech Tuesday. We're gonna replace the spark plugs, all six of them, on this Yamaha F250 XB 2022 model. You go ahead and get that cowling off, put that aside. You're gonna get this top engine cover and the rear engine cover off of the engine. And we'll go ahead and we'll start talking about the tools. So the tools, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. Doesn't matter what size, half, 3 8 quarter, whatever floats your boat. You're gonna need a ratchet and you're going to need a 5 8 spark plug socket. For the spark plugs, you're gonna need the NGK LFR 6A-11 or 3672s. They can also be called 6510s. They come in two different models. There's the Iridium model and then there's this generic model that the manufacturer calls for and spec. So with the spark plug gap, you're going to go ahead and use a pair of these calipers. I prefer the calipers so you don't mess with the strap or, or the pro tip. And then make sure that your stack that you recommended slides through the strap and the pro tip. With just the slightest bit of drag, but no play. Slide right through there and then your spark plug gap is set. Let me just say, they say these spark plugs come out of the box pre-gapped, but I would never take that take that for a grain of salt um, or a grain of sand, whatever you want to say it. And I would go ahead and just verify that the spark plug gap is correct. And as you can see, all six of these are pretty much set out of the package, but that doesn't hurt to check. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna remove these three 10, 10 millimeter bolts that hold on the coil packs. And go ahead and pop those coil packs right out. Go ahead and start with your 5 8 millimeter spark plug socket and go ahead and start breaking them free. Or you can remove them if, however you want to do it in your sequence. I like to break them free and then use my hands with the extension to remove the spot plug. So you're going to see once I get the spot plug removed, you're going to go ahead and read the spot plug. Depending on if it's running rich, the engine's running rich, running lean. Uh, you can read the spark plug itself and it will tell you if you're having any engine problems. That the way the spark plug looks now, it's very clean. There's no oil on the thread, so you're not getting any blow by on oil from the pistons. So you should be good. If they're very dark, it usually means you're running very rich. And if they look very white and burnt out, it usually means you're running a very lean. So you go ahead and remove the rest of those spark plugs, inspect them, and then we'll go ahead and we'll start installing them. So I like to start again, just hand threaded them in from top to bottom. Now you might want to go with all of them at once or do one cylinder head and then go to the next cylinder head. I like to do it, uh, one cylinder head and then move to the next. All right, so now that we got those spark plugs in their hand tight, there, there is a recommended torque spec at 21 foot pounds or 28 Newton meters. I have what's called a calibrated wrist from being a mechanic for so long. So I went ahead with the good in tight method that usually works pretty good with spark plugs. You don't want to over torque spark plugs. Let me make that very clear. Do not over torque the spark plugs because the porcelain on them will shatter and they will fail. Not only that, but you could rip the threads out on the cylinder head. Now 
now that we have the spark plugs torqued we're going to go ahead and we're going to start replacing the coil packs starting with top to bottom or bottom to top or from the middle out however you want to do it go ahead put those coil packs back into place and then you're going to go and get your 10 millimeter bolts get them started and then whether you want to use an impact i know how to use my impact without breaking these bolts uh, you can do it by hand or you can do it with an electronic ratchet or with an impact on a low setting go ahead give that a one data to get those bolts in that's it we can move to the other side so again in the reverse order three bolts remove the coil packs remove the spark plugs new spark plugs in reverse order and then you're done that's pretty much it So now that you wrapped up the other side, we gotta get everything back together. I just wanna throw a note out there that on this back engine panel, this engine cover, I like to mark down my maintenance. Uh, I like to do it with either a gold Sharpie or a paint marker, whatever you wanna use. What you can do is you can just take some brake clean. When you're doing a new maintenance schedule, go ahead and wipe it off. And then you can uh, replace or remark it with your new maintenance hours on it. I like to add things like when the spark plugs were replaced, the gaps we use, oil, oil amount, the hours at which we did the maintenance, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to go ahead and get these covers back on, starting with the very top engine cover. So this engine cover has a bolt in the grommet on that front right starboard corner where I'm working right now. Go ahead and get everything popped into place to the grommets and then you can tighten that bolt or put that bolt back in in that front right corner.
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wipe out any contamination. Maybe there's some salt that made it through these seals. You can go, go ahead and put some WD-40 on a rag and go ahead and wipe these seals and the inner edge along the, where the car will seats on the housing. You see I'm wiping away any salt, making sure that when the cowl does go back on, it creates a good seal. So yep, just like that, in reverse order, get that cowl back on, lock back down, and you are all done with the spark plug chain on the Yamaha 250 XP. Thanks for watching. If you've subscribed, thanks for subscribing. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you later.